how to create a track your order page hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a track your order page on shopify so having said that let's just jump into the video so as you can see right here i've created this page which is called track your order and over here you just simply input your tracking number that you will be fined when someone you know places an order they will get an email and that email will include a tracking number they can just put in the number over here and track them now let's go ahead and show you how i created this page so first things first what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto your home page and over here what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto online stores and underneath online stores you're going to find pages option you're going to click on pages and you're going to add a page right here all right so to add a page, just simply click on add page right here. You click on this button to, and over here, you gonna go ahead and add the title. So we're gonna say track your order right here. And now we are going to switch it to HTML. All right, we're gonna switch the body to HTML and we're gonna write a piece of code right here. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you where you can find the piece of code. It's going to be right here. And you're just simply gonna go ahead and copy this script that you will be linked down in the description below so you don't have to worry about that just simply click over here scroll down to the very bottom and you will find the tracking page script just simply copy it and you should be good to go now what you're going to do is you're going to come back over here onto the page section and you're just simply going to go ahead and click on paste and it's going to paste the code then you just simply click on save and there you go you are good to go now if you click on view page it's going to view it and take you over here as you can see it's just that simple it's so easy however we're not done yet because we still need to add a few more details so now if i come back over here and as you can see i have the order placed as you can see payment is pending all right if i click over here what is the order number or you know tracking number i would actually have to go into my email address to find it so right here as you can see this is my tracking number over here and we can view our order by clicking on this button and you would just simply copy this order number all right you don't have to worry about it just simply copy the number and paste it right over here and click on track now it does say that it is an abnormal request right that is because this order has not yet been you know confirmed it's not even you know shipped yet it's still in pending because the payment is still pending this is because i just ordered it myself and i didn't add any payment methods but yeah this is how it looks like all right and you're just simply going to paste it over here and it'll work it actually works guys now another thing that you can do is you're going to add a tracking your order number over here at the top so people could just simply come over to the website and click on the option right here and they can go ahead and quickly find what they're looking for so to add that all you need to do is come back over here onto the shopify homepage, and then just simply click on online stores and down below you will have navigation option so what you're going to do is you're just simply going to click on navigation and over here you're going to see you have two options called footer and menu you're just simply going to click on main menu and over here you're going to go ahead and add a menu item so to add a menu item just simply click on add menu item and over here just enter in the name so we're going to say order tracking and then over here we're going to paste the link of our page if you want you just simply click on pages all right and then you just simply select track your order and then you just simply click on add and booyah there you go now if you come back over here and reload the page we should have it over here but it is not having why is that let me see track your order it should pop up right here let me see oops sorry i forgot to click on save menu so we now have to click on save and now if you come back over here and reload this page it should say we are good to go now if i click over here onto online store should have it right here why didn't we still have it there we go as you can see it is now added so i've just had to reload it once again and maybe saved it once more and it actually works so let me just change the name to order tracking click on save menu it has been updated there we go it is now working so we click on order tracking and we get this page now let's go ahead and add one more detail which is an email so to do that what we can do is we click on settings and we're gonna go ahead and click on notifications all right 
and under here we're gonna come over here and we're gonna see shipping configuration message all right so we are gonna click over here and as you can see i've already changed it so what we can do is we simply click on edit code and all the this piece of code that you have over here you're gonna select all and backspace you're gonna delete the entire body all right you're gonna come over here onto the script that i provided all right the document that i have linked in the description and you're just simply going to go ahead and copy this email and now you're just simply going to copy it all right and over here this highlighted version you're just simply going to add your tracking page number or page actually so once you've copied all of this piece of code like so copy it and come back over here onto shopify paste the code and find the link or find where your link is let's go ahead and actually just simply copy it come back over here press ctrl f and we just simply find it here it is and now what we can do is we just simply copy the link of our tracking page number and we just simply edit it out and paste our own like so there we go and now we are good to go now we just simply click on the save button boom there we go and now if we click come back over here we can see the email address and over here is also the tracking number as well this is of course sent to you by random auto generated so you don't have to worry about it but yes it actually works so you just simply copy it come over here paste the code and click on track that is of course a demo you know code it won't actually be found because it's not available, but it actually works. So you just simply paste it over here and you should be good to go. Both ways, you could do it. So so having said that, it's really simple, all right? Super easy. And if I come over here and let's say I actually order myself a product, let's go ahead and go into my online store. Let's go to home store and let's say we select this shirt. And we buy it for a small size. Click on buy now. And we just input all of our information here. And let's say this is the address. We just simply click on continue shipping. Yep, continue to pay. Same as the shipping address and it's cash on delivery. We we'll click on complete order. And now it's being shipped. All right. And now we just simply click on continue shipping. And as you can see, we just got the email as well over here. And there we go. It actually works. Now, once we've actually gotten the approval for this product, we will be sent this shipping confirmation email, which is going to have our tracking number as well, which is going to be provided with our supplier. So you don't have to worry about that. But yes, it actually works. And this is how you do it. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And let me know in the comment sections what you guys think. If I was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, then let me know as well. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.